Claudia Rossi. Um, good to see you again. Last time you saw me, I had boring hair. Now it's not boring. It's fun hair. I love it. It's pink. It's pink. Pink. Anyways, yeah, the puppies are barking in the background, but they're, it's unavoidable because I share my space with the doggy area. So that that's that's the way it is. Um, but I have a space, and I don't have to put everything away. So I don't care. I will I'll give it up. I got the heater going. Actually, I don't have it going. I'm going to turn it up. Hold on. I'm sorry if you can hear that, but um, I have my little space heater tucked underneath my table to keep me warm while I paint in my very cold studio. So it's December. No, it's not. It's November, and it's finally getting cool here. Um, our version of cool here in Central California, because you know we think anything under 70 is freezing. So those of you who live where it's snowing right now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I wear a jacket sometimes. <laughs> it's just not cold here. So what am I doing? I am just saying hi because I haven't been. I haven't been on in a while. I haven't put up a video and I wanted to do a bunch of stuff and then things are kind of crazy busy and I had to deal with some stuff at my daughter's school and um, all this stuff. And so I haven't been in the studio, but I am today. So hopefully I'm going to get this butterflies um, journal page done that I'm working on. When I was sick a couple weeks ago, I was just sitting on my couch and not feeling well and I grabbed a few art supplies, stuck them in a bucket and took them with me in a little uh, water jar and decided just to do a little something. So I did a couple sketches and I got a couple of pages prepped with collage papers and things. So this is the one that one of the ones that I did. Make sure you can see that. Okay. So oh, there, there we go. Good close up. A close up of me. I hope you can see this. I have no idea what I'm showing you. Okay. So these are just um, real quick, real quick. I just did an outline sketch shape of a butterfly, and just so I know where to put the papers. And then I tore up all different kinds of papers, mostly lighter colors. I didn't want a lot of huge patterns because I'm paint on top of it. And I just wanted some background text and things and texture. So I just ripped up little bits of paper and glued them all over with gel. No, with matte medium. Is matte medium? No, I used gel medium because some of these weren't as thin as I like. So I actually, I used gel medium. Where's it at? Golden, soft, golden, soft gel medium in matte. That's it. This is like empty and I got to refill it out of my big jar. But that's, that's all I did. Um, and I want to use some really watery paints so and get a watercolor effect. I don't know if I'll use watercolor because as much as I love the way it looks, it's not permanent, and then I have to wait for it to dry, then I have to spray fix it and wait for that to dry. So sometimes I'll just use my golden fluid acrylics because they are super pigmented. Um, let me see, here's one that's, that's ooh, noisy bag. Brand new, um, so still not covered in paint. But these little golden fluid, I buy them in the bigger tubes when I can find them, and I can afford them because I don't have a lot of money all the time. So colors that I love, I'll get in the larger bottles. These are the uh, four ounce versus the one ounce. So sometimes it works out to be a better deal. I use my 40% off coupon at Michael's and they have a very limited selection of about eight or ten colors in these large bottles. Um, but I do it and then I buy the rest at my local art store. I try really hard to support them. I love Michael's. I love Joann's. I do. And I buy things there and I go there and I use my coupons and I, I get the stuff on sale and I buy stamps and scrapbooking supplies and papers and things that I wouldn't necessarily get at my art store but I try to support my local art store. It's a small business. Um, being self-employed I kind of respect that and um, so I, I do. I go there and I, I spend my dollars there and, and I hit their sales too. They have great sales but I, I shop. It's called Allard's. That's not the right name. <laughs> oh, that is the right name. 
Allard's Art Store. Um, and again, it's a small business and I support them and I want them to stick around. And so I go there and I buy things there. They have a huge selection of paints in many colors, every color in the golden fluid. They don't have the larger bottles, but they'll order anything that I want. So I love them. They're great that way. They even ordered me some caps for my tubes because my caps broke on some of my um, Galleria tubes. And so they're, they're awesome. They treat me good. They remember me when I come in and I, I like that and they're always willing to help and support your local business if you have a small local art store support them if you can you know at least something um, so anyways I'm probably going to water down some golden fluid acrylic either with some with some medium maybe or water depends on what I'm going to go for some of the mediums that you can thin your paints with don't dilute the colors, whereas with water, you definitely get a more watery effect and the colors will eventually dilute down and you won't get the vibrant colors, but um, we'll see what we're going to do when we get there. I did want to show you something um, just about journals in general and the paper quality. Um, if you notice, let me see, right here, can you see that? That's, that's a face <laughs> coming through from the previous page over here. It's this girl's face coming through in the shadow. So I know this happens. This is my large, super large, extra large, I don't know what they call it, um, giant moleskine, moleskina, moleskin, whatever, journal. And that's the paper. That's how it is. It's not, it looks like the same paper in the smaller one. It really does, but it's thinner. It's not the same. Not the same. Um, if you erase on this, it does change a little, so you just have to be careful. But I know what to expect and I, I live with it. Um, <clears throat> so what I do is I skip pages. See, so like this, this is paint that's come through from this page because I used watery paint and so it comes, ooh, I'm dropping things, so it came through. So what I've done, like you'll notice, like, okay, here's a sketch, right? I haven't painted it, but I will. So there's a sketch, then I skip a page, and then I paint. <clears throat> and then I kind of know what's going to happen. And then I skip a page, and then I paint something else, and then I'll go back, and now I'm working in between the pages on this lovely girl with the flame hair that I showed you last time that I'm still working on. I just did a little start on the border and some rub-ons, but I, she has a lot to go. But that kind of works for me, and then if I know that there's something, you know, there's going to be a lot of paint going through. Um, I just gesso it really good, but I didn't really care on this one because I'm going to paint, so I didn't bother with gesso. I just went ahead and did my stuff, and then on top of it, I did a coat of clear gesso, which is a buy in Liquitex brand, but clear gesso, it has um, no color, so it dries completely clear, and it gives it some tooth, if you will, but I just went ahead and did that for some texture, so you can kind of hear, like, it's almost, it's gritty, it's on there, so that's, that's next, I'm going to work on these butterflies, um, different paper, different paper than, say, this is what they call the large, I don't know what they call that other one, the behemoth or something, <laughs> who knows, this is considered their large sketchbook, um, by Moleskine, and, um, the paper is thicker, this is, this is an illusion, because I, working on this one, um, expecting some of that to happen, I glued two pages together. So I have really thick pages in here. So I went through and every other page I glued together. So whenever I put paint on here, then I don't, I don't have to worry about it at all, really. I don't worry about the corners. This is another page that I prepped. I still skip pages. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I still skip pages. This one was actually this, the color that's back here was um, just where I cleaned some paintbrushes and I just slapped some color on and it, there's some inks over here, some alcohol inks, whatever. This is the page that I used to clean and then while I was sick I went through, I collaged a bunch of papers on it and covered most of it up but that's okay. And then I ran a little bit of um, molding paste around the edges. Can you see that? So I'll be working on that one, and I'll, I'll record it, but I have a lot of things in progress. Here's one you guys can see on YouTube, and 
this is what I'm working on, and I don't know. I just, I skip around while paint has to dry, I jump around. And just to show, like, your art journal is yours. It doesn't matter what you do in here. It, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a transfer I did from a magazine. And what I did is I laid the magazine picture on top, and I put charcoal transfer paper underneath, and I just drew the outline of the face because I wasn't very good at drawing faces at all yet. I hadn't really practiced a lot. Uh, not very good. So there you go. And she's pretty, and she's mine, but I just outlined her. So, um, like, and when you fail, leave it in there. Who cares, right? Look at that. That is a wonky-looking girl. She... She's got some issues. This, this girl's face? Issues. Yeah. She's still in there. Look, she has something on her. Oh, she's still in there. I was playing with techniques. I was trying things. I was, um, I think this was one of those ones I was trying to, like, ooh, do a face without drawing the grid lines because, you know, let's see if I could do it. And she's all wonky and oh well. So, <laughs> we just, we just go. Just go. Just play in your art journal. It doesn't matter. That's your free place. Make all your mistakes. Leave it in there. Who cares? You'll laugh at it later. You'll like it later. Um, so that's what I have going on, I guess. That's it. More. I want to work on some paintings. I found some great um, boards to paint on. I'm going to show you. Masonite boards. Great sale. These are masonite boards. This is what I got. And um, they're called art boards or artist panels. And they're wood. They are um, basically like a press board type thing. Um, what do they call it? MDF. That's what it's called. MDF. So it's wood. It's wood. It's hard. I can I can collage like crazy on here. This is so much fun. You can push hard. You know, some of the things you, I, I want to do, I can't do on canvas. I mean, I can paint on canvas. Sure, that's great. There are things, and you, you can collage on canvas too, but you have to be careful because it's fabric and it stretches. And if you put too much weight, over time as it's hanging, it's going to affect it and it's going to sag or it's going to look wonky. And um, you can't push, like you can't, you'll poke through, you'll stretch the canvas. So I love painting hard surfaces and these are like ready to go. I need to gesso them and then I can get started. But I can push as hard as I want. I can do really hard rub-ons. I can, I can do whatever I want and I'm not going to hurt this. And I can glue things on here and I can drill holes and hang chains off of it if I want to. And, and it's not going to hurt it. It's not going to mess it up. So this is fantastic. And it's pre-drilled in the back ready to go so it can be hung either way so easy peasy so those are fun and I found a fantastic they were giving them away giving them away so I bought a big stack I'm excited big stack um what else is going on oh I'm leaving I'm leaving Thanksgiving hold on it's too hot Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is next week so I'm hoping to get some of this done and put up but I have a lot going on we're gonna have Thanksgiving twice Thursday and Friday um Thursday for the folks that are here, Friday for my adult kids because they all have other families that they have to see, or my brother and sister, they have to go to their, you know, their steps, so they have to go see their other families, so we do too. We usually do it on Friday, but I feel bad not to have anything for my kids that are home. So two, two Thanksgivings um, to prepare for next week, that's kind of crazy. And I have um, going on a cruise, we are leaving on our family vacation, we are leaving two weeks from yesterday so i have a lot going on today. thanksgiving next week leaving on a cruise we're going to go to hawaii 15 days oh in hawaii so excited um on a boat somebody else is going to make my bed and clean my room and feed me for two weeks i don't have to do a single dish i don't have to clean anything i don't have to dust i don't have to do anything i'm in heaven this is excited this is my excited face i'm excited um yeah, so trip to Hawaii, very exciting. So much to do, like I'm like, in a panic over how I'm gonna get everything done and ready and still try to get some videos out and get some work done. Um, you know, we have no money saved up. Oh, Self-employed, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's, uh, it's tough. So <laughs> lately it's been a little bit slow. So we have a lot of money saved up, but I don't care. I'm going to Hawaii, I'm gonna walk on the beach with my kids. Um, they can't, you know, the ocean's free, right? The ocean's free. So we're going to go have a good time, and um, the boat's paid for, the parking's paid for, everything's paid for in advance, so we've got all that taken care of. So we're going to go, and we're going to have a great time, and I can't wait. Um, it's going to be fun. We're coming back three days before Christmas. Three days before Christmas. So this is Christmas. Any shopping we're doing, we're doing there, if we do any. So it's all good. We're happy. 
A um, couple other things. My Etsy shop. I do have an Etsy shop. It's open. I don't know if you know that. Uh, when I did my studio tour, you saw a couple pieces of my artwork. Those are available for purchase in my Etsy store if you are interested at all in having um, a one-of-a-kind um, painting. Please check it out. My, I'm not terribly expensive, so uh, you, I'm pretty affordable, so check it out. And I do take commissions if you're interested. I just um, did one not that long ago for a sweet lady in Greece for her daughter. And um, I didn't do a video of creating it, but the photos of it are up on my on my blog. So if you want to see that, they're, they are there. If you haven't liked my Facebook page, please go like my Facebook page. Once I reach a certain number of fans, I'm going to do another giveaway. I just did a giveaway. Um, so things are going. I like it. But um, sometimes not everything gets on YouTube. I don't always have time to sit down and record. So. Please, please, please like my Facebook page and, and subscribe to my blog. You won't miss anything. And that's where I put little things and photos of things that I'm working on that maybe I'm not recording. So you don't miss anything. And, and leave me comments and talk to me. I love that. I think it's so much fun to get some feedback and um, hear what, what are you doing and art. Oh, I have a couple people who've posted art after watching one of my tutorials, How to Draw a Face. And it's so exciting to me. I really love that. So if you um, create something based off one of my tutorials, um, the houses or whatever, um, you know, but send me a picture. I, I love that. That is so awesome. I love seeing what you guys come up with um, afterwards and some of, you know, how, how your take on things is. So that's really exciting to me. And um, so do that, please, and like me on Facebook so that you don't miss any little blurbs, little things that's going on. And... Uh, I promise if you subscribe to my blog, I'm not going to bombard you. I usually only post on there no more than once a week, often less than that whenever I post a new video. So it, it, it's not going to bog your email down. And um, I'm going to get to work because I want to get these butterflies done and show you. And so I'll see you later and maybe after Hawaii. So maybe next year. <laughs> we'll see. Bye now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get started. I'm not really sure where I want to go with this yet. I mean, I love the butterflies and it's just going to be about them. So what I'm going to do is use my golden fluid acrylics in some of the more translucent colors. Most of the golden fluids are a little translucent. You can always tell because they show you right here a sample of the paint over some black bars. So you can see how translucent that paint's going to come up or if it's a little bit more opaque like this teal. So I'm going to use these and I'm not sure yet if I'm going to dilute them with water, straight water, um, to create more of a watercolor type paint or if I am going to use um, an extender or some other type of liquid medium like you can use this is extender. See, it's really watery. It's it's not water, watery. It's a little bit thick like glycerin would be. Um, but this helps the paint flow and not dry as quickly. It does a couple of the things, but you can also use it to water down the paint. But then again, it's going to slow my drying time. Um, whereas water isn't going to slow it very much. So uh, we'll see. I mean, I can always use a glazing medium. There's, there's a few things that I can do. So I, I might play a little bit and then see how it goes um, and then completely change everything around and do something different. So trial and error, that's what your journal's about. Just practicing and playing and having fun and just trying different things. So that's what we're going to get started with and let's see what happens. Okay, what I'm going to start with is I put a drop of paint in each of my little wells there in my tray. I have uh, quinacridone magenta and turquoise and then just a yellow uh, in the golden fluids and I think I'm going to start with just adding water to these and then we're going to see what happens okay I'll be back in a minute okay so um, I don't know what happened but I apparently didn't record getting some paint onto these butterflies so I'm going to just real quick run through what I did. Um, so what I did is I used my little um, palette with the wells and I put one drop of color in each one. This one's already got mixed with the pink because but it doesn't matter because I'm done. Um, and then I mixed a large quantity of water in on top of that and um, and I just used a brush and dotted it in. Now I did spray 
my butterflies with water. I just have water in a spray bottle and I spritzed it before I started so that the paint would really bleed and flow and then kind of dabbed at the puddles with um, a mostly dry baby wipe. So that's what I did and hopefully I won't mess up again and I'll get the rest of this recorded for you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna work on the background because I want to come in and apply detail to the butterflies using black ink or black paint. So I wanna get the background done so that if I do anything that goes over the butterfly, like some little swirls or whatever, you know, tails down the bottom of the butterfly, that'll all show up. So I'm gonna work on the background next. It's gonna kind of start looking like it's all um, the same values, but it's gonna get better later. So we'll get going with that. Okay, so all I've done here is I was just playing to see if I was gonna like how it turned out and I was just using some ink, some turquoise and pink ink, which turned purple when I mixed them together. Um, and just brushed them on with some water and then dried them, wiped them off with a towel and I don't know, I'm not loving it. So I wasn't really committed to this yet. I'm not really sure what I wanna do in the background, but sure, I'll figure something out. Well, okay, I guess I'm going to just move forward with the inks, um, because just for lack of a better idea, and I want to get some color in the background, and it seems to be working, and I guess I don't really hate it, hate it, but, so all I am doing is applying a little ink. Make sure you shake these inks up really well, because the color tends to settle. <clears throat> My movie's on in the background, and I'm talking, ha. Ah. When I paint, I often have my Netflix playing some movie that I can pretty much remember what happened by heart. Just so I have some noise happening in the background. So all I did to get the effect that I was doing was I took some paint and I took a wet brush and I just started moving it around. And I spritzed it with water, so I guess I should go ahead and spritz it with water again. And just blend the inks together, move them around. I got kind of a lot on here. I started with a little bit whenever I started on the other side, and I went kind of crazy here, didn't I? So. That's okay, I'll just move it around. And easy, I use some of the cheapest brushes sometimes because um, cause I'm not nice to them. I am mean and rough on my brushes, so. And then I'm gonna take, this is actually a dry baby wipe, it doesn't have any more. It's not wet anymore. <clears throat> and just rub that around. So I'm actually not hating this anymore. I mean, I wasn't loving it before, but it's getting better. So, I'm going to keep at it. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm going to draw the outline that I plan on having the butterfly in, in black ink or black paint. Now, what I'm going to go over that with is my Oh, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in a brush tip because it'll glide over the acrylic that I have on there now and the bumpy texture. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some black fluid acrylic into one of my palette wells and add some water to create an inky consistency before I paint it onto the butterfly.
Okay, so I have no idea what's wrong with me today, but I seem to be um, not recording the things that I want to and recording the things I don't, so uh, I don't know what's wrong. But all I did was um, fill in the lines. Oh, I hope you got the lines. Fill in the lines with some slightly watered down black paint, added some antennas and some little things. And now I think I'm going to um, drip some ink around them in um, black as well, just because I think this page just needs a little bit more black. Okay, so I got help opening my bottle and it just made me think of a tip that I should share with you guys that would help um, acrylic when it dries is like plastic or glue. I mean, we use matte medium and gel to adhere things as like a Mod Podge glue. So it's a glue and lids get glued shut basically. So um, just a little tip, this is bigger and not black, so I'll show you with this. This one is, is not bad, but if you take, besides just keeping the um, medium off the edges whenever you put it away, you can wipe it and keep it clean. But another good tip is take a little Vaseline on a paper towel and rub it along the, um, along the edges of your bottles and such, and it will keep any of the glue from drying, basically. I mean, it's Vaseline, it's very greasy, so it'll keep everything easy to open. So that's my little tip for you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drip some ink now. Well, okay, there you have it. Um, after a slight malfunction with my ink bottle, my dropper was clogged. I now have black splatters all over. I am so happy with this page. I love it. I think it's fun and it was fun to make and simple. Anybody can do this. So go out there and um, make some butterflies in your journal and have a good time and splatter ink. If you don't have ink in a bottle and you do have acrylic paint and you have it watered down, you can take it on a paintbrush and drop it. And again, c cover, practice on something else if you're particular about it. You can. Um, you can either just drip it directly off the brush like that or tap it against another brush to cause splatters. So um, those are a couple other things to do if you don't have the, uh, the ink that I was using in the in this, um, dropper bottle. So there you have it. I'm going to set this aside very carefully because I don't really want it to drip. I mean, drips are fun, drips are good, but right now I don't. I kind of like the little dots everywhere. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Definitely overnight this is going to take to be fully dry before I can work on anything else. So I hope you guys have a great time and a wonderful Thanksgiving next week and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!